Hey guys, today we will look at the syllabus and pass HSC questions. We want to really identify how questions are asked. The idea of this video is not to predict future questions, but rather understand the types of questions that may be asked and how the Board of Studies has implemented the glossary of terms within these questions. We need to first acknowledge that all the questions you are about to see are the property of the Board of Studies and are only being used for educational purposes. We would hope that teachers can use this video in one of a couple of ways. To showcase the different types of questions that might be asked and to also provide students with practice questions to, re to receive feedback. If you are a student, feel free to pause the video throughout and utilise the past HSC questions to practice. Don't forget your teachers love receiving all these extra questions to mark. So let's start with the glossary of terms. So knowing the glossary of key terms is fundamental. It is really a guide for you as a student to help structure your answers as well as knowing how much depth to go into in each question. You can find a list of the glossary of terms on the Board of Studies website or, even better, you could review your syllabus and look at the Learn To columns and see what glossary terms are used. So for this video, we have broken apart the sports medicine syllabus, dot point by dot point, to show you every question that has been asked in the HSE since 2010. Just a point to remember, there are only 20 marks allocated every year, which generally equates to three questions per exam. Uh, to this option, so it is important to know all areas comprehensively as questions could come from any area of the syllabus. So let's begin by looking at the first stop point, ways to manage sports injuries. Unfortunately, there have been no specific questions related to this stop point recently. However, it is advised that knowledge of ways to classify sports injuries is important to know and can be linked in with other dot points. The next dot point relates specifically to soft tissue injuries. As you can see, there has been one question asked recently that has, that has been a low mark question. Outline is a key term to take note of and it is assumed you will have a good understanding of the different types of soft tissue injuries listed in the syllabus. As we move into hard tissue injuries, again, no question has been asked. This doesn't mean that it never will, so care needs to be taken to understand the area, this area of the syllabus. The next stop point relates to the assessment of injuries. As you can see, a five mark question comes straight from the syllabus Learn 2. Detail and good solid examples that go with toe taps is important. We now move on to looking at the children and young athletes stop point. The question relates to the first dash point in the syllabus, but really requires you to address how to manage these conditions, as is outlined in the Learn 2 section. The aged and adult athlete stop point has seen two questions come out that require a lot of information. Having 8 and 12 mark questions requires detail, understanding, good examples and the ability to answer the question. The 12 mark question in particular would need you to understand the needs of the age group in detail as well as the conditions that impact on the person participating in physical activity. Next, we look at female athletes. Two questions have been identified. It is a good idea to understand the needs of female athletes as you need to be able to assess how issues such as bone density and iron deficiency affect participation. In the next dot point on physical preparation, it is important that you develop your understanding and examples in a range of sports. This will help show a more rounded understanding of how to physically prepare for sport. As you can see with the question, for 8 marks you really need to show that you understand the preventative strategies and the question is quite specific in what it asks you to do. The next dot point on sports policy is a larger dot point and has seen two 12 mark questions over the last few years. The questions come from the Learn 2 dot point but are worded slightly differently. The key here is to identify the key words and to know your syllabus. The environmental considerations dot point has been popular recently and has seen three different style of questions asked. Evaluate is the key term which is straight from the syllabus. Make sure you work with your teachers to learn how to evaluate and to make sure you are doing it effectively when answering these style of questions. The next dot point on taping and bandaging is generally seen to be more of a practical outcome. However, there is still scope for questions to be asked, especially for preventative taping. 
The learn to has a glossary term of evaluate, so you need to be able to understand and find the value of, of taping for prevention and, tr and treatment of injuries. Rehab procedures has seen a 12 mark question asked when an understanding of whole procedure for rehabilitation is important to know. And finally, the return to play dot point is a larger dot point that has only seen one question recently. There are two learn to dot points here and a lot of information to revise. I would recommend spending time understanding this area, if not for the HSC, then for your own personal knowledge for when you play the sport and possibly get injured. So that's it for sports medicine guys. I hope you have had the chance to have a good look at the questions. Remember, pause it at any stage and utilize this resource to practice answering HSC style questions. Thanks again guys and we'll see you next time.